Hello, all my dear Gemini friends. Here is our forecast for October. But wait, I've got a couple of announcements some of you have been asking about. Finally, finally, finally realized where I was headed. And I am so excited to share this with you. Some of you know that I have written a book called Secrets from the Womb. Um, astrology tells you what the problem is and how long you're going to have to deal with it, but it doesn't give you the solution as to the cause of it. It doesn't help you get rid of it per se. This book was written by me, dictated by spirit. I am not only offering um, group classes on this book, if you would like to learn how to be um, a practitioner of the secrets from the womb. Um, but I'm, I'm doing private sessions with people. So if you are interested uh, all you have to do is go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com, and you will have all the information that you need on this and my astrology classes. I'm starting a new series of classes, astrology classes, that will be a course, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. If you are interested in becoming an astrologer, this series of classes may be for you because I'm going to teach you everything I know and I am going to help you fall in love not only with yourself but with the astrologer that resides within you. Again, the information is on my website. Just shoot me an email because I want to talk with you and explain exactly what I'm going to be sharing. I'm interviewing everybody. I can tell right away if you are the ideal student for me and if I am the ideal teacher for you. And if it matches, wow. This planet is in for some love, some abundance, and the change that so many people want. So that's the deal. All kind of stuff. Typical Gemini, right? That's me. Both hands working, you know. All right, let's talk about our amazing forecast. I really love it. Well, first of all, Jupiter is going to go retrograde on the 9th. And we're already feeling that Jupiter is the greater benefic. It brings money. It brings abundance. It, it rules um, optimism. Um, wherever it is, it expands that house. So it, it, it is a blessing. However, when it's retrograde, it doesn't quite deliver uh, what it will when it comes out of retrograde in a few months. Yep, I said a few months. It is what it is, but it's still working. It's in our first house. And so we are optimistic. We um, have to watch out for what we eat because it can expand our physical body. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So it, it adds joy. It's jovial, um, and it brings spirit's blessings. Okay, Mars, the red planet. Wow. When, wherever Mars is, that's what comes first to us. And when Mars is in our second house, money all month is there for us to create. Period, bottom line, we could stop here, but I won't. Mars 
is what we're willing to fight with and fight for. Uh, very often we may find situations, uh, financial situations that we did not know about. You, don't worry, we're taking care of them, okay? Because right now, money is number one for many people, but particularly for us because we can create it. Yes. All right. Let's talk about this beautiful fifth house of fun and games. All right. The sun, the giver of life, this yellow planet says we want to have fun. We want to enjoy ourselves. If you have children, um, enjoy them um, because, oh, and pets can be children too, you know. I don't know if you realize that. Those of you who study astrology may know that. All right. Now everybody does. So the center of our lives is creating fun. On the 22nd of the month, the sun moves into our sixth house of work, health, and service. And it lightens. It brings life with it. It is the giver of life. Um, that's a little different from Mars that says, I'll fight you for that. The sun just shines and gives. Don't ask anything in return. So on the 22nd, the sun moves into our sixth house and helps us move forward on the job and really create a new life for that job. There can be a promotion to the sun. It, it can be leadership as well. So get ready, play now, work later, be blessed. Mercury, the blue planet. That's what we think about and talk about. It's in our fifth house of fun and games. Now, uh, let me just look here. On the 13th of the month, it moves into our sixth house of work, health, and service. And we are able to take uh, the information that we are given and apply it on the job. It's really terrific. Venus, the lesser benefic, and there's nothing less about Venus. It's money. It's love. It's happiness. It's in our sixth health house and this deals with our health and the job um are you are you looking for a new job because if you are venus can help you e enormously i i love the way this looks um, on the 17th venus moves into our seventh house now if you are uh, available and looking for somebody, looking for love. Uh, Venus will help you look for it, not in all the wrong places, but will bring it to you. Being involved in a one-on-one -on -one relationship, whether personal or business, is a delight for you at uh, after the 17th. I love it, don't you? So let's talk about the full moon and the new moon. The new moon is October 2nd. Now, the, we're in the dark of the moon before we're in the new moon. And everybody's tired on the dark of the moon. Okay, but that's a given. On the second of the month, we have a new moon, but it's not just a new moon. It's an eclipse, a solar eclipse, and that means we're going to feel the effects of that for at least a year. And if it sits on your sun, your moon, or your ascendant, I'm going to give it two years. Because that is a new life eclipse. It, it's just like we're sitting here and we're blessed. So the new moon, the solar eclipse, on October 2nd, is in 10 degrees of Libra. The full moon is two weeks later. And everything comes to a head at that point in time. The 11th house is friends and group activities and humanitarian projects. 
I love that. Oh my goodness. It is in 29 degrees, 35 minutes of Aries. This is the month then to see to it that you have uh, your classes in line if you're a teacher or a student. Um, in the 11th house, that is the house of the humanitarian. And you will express your love of humanity in your own inimitable style on the 17th of the month. I just love it. Mm. So that's our forecast. Join me next month when once again I take a look at our forecast and prepare us for great things. Till then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.